What's up guys? We're super excited this month to bring you nothing but E30 content. Uh, Coleman and myself uh, both have E30s that are in the uh, almost operational stages, uh, but have a quite, quite a bit left to do. Uh, his a little less than this one. Um, I purchased this 91 uh, BMW 318 roughly a year ago now. Uh, upon purchasing it, pulled it in the shop, blew the gas tank out, uh, and, and made a, a giant mess in the shop. Uh, upon re replacing the gas tank, we noticed there were a bunch of other issues with the car that we needed to fix. Uh, so we went ahead and pulled the motor, rebuilt the motor, and have essentially stripped this car completely at this point outside of interior uh, to start a front to back fix of everything that's wrong with it before we give it to my wife. Uh, hopefully, she'll like the car. Uh, it is manual brakes, uh, manual itself, and then welded diff, so that should be pretty interesting for her to learn how to drive on. In the next video, we're gonna go over everything that we're gonna do to this car. We have a ton of parts going on this one specifically because it is a little bit more in depth than what we're doing with Coleman's. So let's head outside now and we can check out his car and what needs to be done. Now we're at Coleman's car, gimme, gimme, gimme. This is my car. You've probably seen this in the back of a lot of the videos. It is very bright out here and I can't see. Yeah. But um, you've probably seen this in the back of the shop in a lot of the videos that we do in there. Um, I've had this car for, I think three years ago exactly, as of like yesterday. Um, I bought it, it was a very nice, clean, nice, dailyable E30. And then I blew a head gasket and I was like, you know what, might as well ruin it. So. We have this fancy schmancy super rare body kit from Poland that is handmade, super cool. Um, it adds like five inches of width to the front on each side and about six inches in the rear on each side. So like wheel width wise, it's about as wide as a C7 Corvette. Um, it is completely stripped, basically, aside from a steering wheel and saw belt GT3 seat, which is not bolted in there very well. Um, yeah, there you go. Let them see it. Uh, it is on a Mega Squirt uh, ECU, which needs a lot of work. Um, got a auxiliary like switch panel to run fans and lights because don't have any of that. Um, also, don't have a trunk floor, which is super sick. Uh, kind of temporary exhaust. We'll leave this probably for now. Uh, because the goal is to turbo this eventually, but not right now. Oh. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta show the world what is wrong with this car. Now, as you can see, it's a lot of things that need to be fixed here. Some gap. Yeah, uh, so fun. Lots of welding of sheet metal to be done. I mean, just put this back on to pretend that everything's okay. <laughs> and it looks halfway decent. Oh God. It's freaking awesome, you know? If you know, you know. If you don't, your builds are too simple. And you have way less stress in your life than I do. So I think, what are we gonna do? Just wrap it pretty much and make it way better? Fix it. Make yes. It not the crap. Fix it and make it better. Is this, what is happening? Okay, so to fill in this very large void of nothingness at the bottom of the car in that weird jankness here, there are these huge side skirts that I have to find a fancy way to mount to the side of this car. So the car at the side skirt will probably be like an inch and a half-ish off the ground, which is super sick. It's gonna be very undrivable. It runs and drives extremely loud, um, as you can see at the start of the video. Yeah, this one's just a lot of cosmetic stuff for now. Drives is kind of like a loose terminology with you on any car that you own. Yes. It runs and drives sometimes. most of the time. Sometimes. I have a problem. But yeah, I mean, we have O2 sensor to put on and then it can be tuned and then it might run okay. Might. That's... I think if it actually ran good, you'd probably sell it. No. I don't think you'd like it anymore. I, no, I you can't sell like it. This, I have owned this car longer than I've ever- Grippy cars. And grippy sock <laughs> But yeah, anyways, we're excited. There's lots of fun things about to happen. It's gonna be chaotic and it's gonna be terrible. Yeah. 
but the super comes back too. Oh yeah, the super comes back pretty soon. Uh, lots going on with that thing. But yeah, hopefully by the end of the month we'll have two E30s that no longer have to stay in the shop permanently because they're sick. I don't know. But yeah. Anybody collects moths for their walls, hit us up, we got you. This one's like really weird. Yep. All right, that's all we got for this video. We will see y'all next week with more E30 stuff. Uh, check out the story pretty consistently because I'll keep updating that like as we're actually working on stuff. But hopefully by the end of next week, y'all have a very in-depth video. And until then, peace.